Hi everyone, this is Alberto Chavez and here we go. We go ahead and uh, continue with the Optimus Prime Power Master uh, modeling. Today, I guess it's going to be a pretty short um, video, but um, we will continue with um, the modeling of the rest of the body for the big prime here. But actually, Forget it. I was about to say that um, we could start adding some fine details to the head, but never mind. We will just go ahead and start at the very, very, very start for the body since I don't have a real body um, base to follow up just like the head. We will try to guess as much as possible what we're going to do. Okay, let's get rid of this um, this image here because this is most likely, you know, the head. So I click on the X and I will go ahead and click on New. Well, actually, image of an image, and this is I guess is here. And if you want to see like thumbnails of the images you have stored in a certain directory. All you have to do is come here and click this button here and as you can see well there's a very um, nice view of the images you have on the um, on your computer well in the specific directory as I said and as far as I know this is the one we're gonna use now uh, not exactly the best of the images, but this is all what um, the person that asked me to do this model uh, could could give me. So my apologies for this. We will start by um, modeling just the neck, the very very neck. So we we'll go ahead and uh, click on tab, or press tab, not click, but press tab. Remember here is the a key monitor right here down below and uh, I will go ahead and select this uh, face selection and I will choose well actually first I will go ahead and add a couple of edge loops just like that yeah maybe there right there and I will go ahead and SX oops SY so I can move them along the very first model we have. Now with face selection I will go ahead and select these three. Why? Because, well actually this six. Why? Because the part of the jaw, the inferior jaw, well, bottom jaw, I don't know how to call it, um, has to be here and the rest will be the neck. So I will go ahead and extrude it, just press E and there you have it. As you can see, well there's a couple of uh, problems. First of all, the extrusion was um, kind of uh, on the normals, so it, well, all what we need to do first of all is go ahead and check if clipping is checked and it is not. So go ahead and clip it and click it. <laughs> Why? Because if I don't it will go ahead and fall apart again. So clip. Now you join it. Mm hmm. What's happening here? Let's see. Let me see. And actually it's in the X axis. Oops. Yeah, theirs has to be. Mm. You see, it should be a joint right there. And oh, there it is. I don't know what happened. But there it is now. It has been joined. Mm, but not the way I wanted it. Okay, better now. Just like that. Again, remember to click on clipping. Otherwise, it will be a big problem, a big mess. Okay, go ahead and select vertex selection, and 
I will go ahead and click and press S X zero. Mm, no. What it should be? No, Z S Z zero. Just to make it uniform uh, on the bottom. You see, now it's flat. Okay, this is just the very first part. All what we're gonna do today, due to my time scheduling, <laughs> sorry, um, is this part here of the chest, the very uh, beginning of the chest, the pectorals for, well, you can call it like that for in a robot. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and deselect everything with A and Shift A so I can add a cube here um, and this is going to be obviously the base for the chest again uh, since we have already a mirror modifier if you can remember here for the face I, I will go ahead and add another uh, well actually not another but I will work with the same modifier so I'll go ahead and click on Control R, I will add a, an edge loop, B select, box select with the B, X, and delete vertices. As you can see, uh, it doesn't matter since it's already um, mirrored. Okay. Oops. Be careful if you press A, you will select the whole mesh since we added this cube within edit mode it is part of this whole me mesh if we add another object in object mode then it's two separate objects but if you do it in edit mode it will be a single object okay so what if you want to select just a cube you can go ahead and click every single vertice and select it or you can just click a single vertice and press L there you go L what does it make it all what it makes is select all the um, all the vertices that conform a single object even if they are um, with an uh, edit mode okay that being said I will go ahead and I will um, uncheck clipping because if I start doing it uh, with the clipping selected um, when I for instance if I do this it will all become a single mesh okay so uncheck it just like that all right now okay better um the start for the chest um as you can see here up here there are two if we are going to call it in the geometry perspective these are two cubes right so ahead and face it like that and make it bigger way bigger than the head right for now we will stay with a very small amount of faces now it's uh, as you can see the problem here is that um, since we added based on the neck was kind of funny because it's a very thin chest <laughs> and that's not the way we want it okay now L a little bit at the center just like that and um, maybe a little bit bigger in the x-axis so we can say it's a powerful prime as every prime should be, right? And besides, I will L 
and select or oh, actually it will create a new material since I have already um, a red color but as you can see the red color that I have it's an emission so it will have some light and I don't want light from the chest to be emitted so click on this plus sign here and I will go ahead and add a new here's the button new material which is going to be a red material remember it's kind of um it's a metallic material and it's you can see here for the helmet it has a glossy material which is exactly what we're gonna do now with this diffuse we're gonna change it by a glossy material and a roughness of 0.1 what roughness means is that um, the amount of real reflection that the material will have it is basically um, how perfect will be the reflection on the material for instance if you're call, uh, you're talking about a, a mirror the roughness will be zero right because it's a perfect reflection but metallic material are not perfectly reflective right so a roughness of 0.1 might be even 0.2 will do correctly um, remember if you want to see the material on the viewport right here you just copy control Z and paste control V on um, the settings here mm. hey what happened let me just let me see what is happening here should be working by now hmm I'm not able to see let's just let me get um, away from but right now we only see the head from the camera perspective so G um, middle mouse wheel and go back G and down F12 it has too many samples so let me oh see let's say 20 will do just for the view after I will go ahead and make it bigger oh I know now never mind never mind never mind I'm a fool this is the chest right this is the material right but I have not assigned it yet assign and there we go shame on me now let's call this um, metal red now if I press F12 that should do what we want take a look at that better right sorry <laughs> I'm getting old um, oh, one more thing is you can see the neck has the helmet um, material actually the this little mask here material and I guess it should have um, this helmet material I'm not sure I'm just taking a guess here okay so if I'm mistaken, please, please, please correct me. Assign um, there. Just remember, again, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Okay. Now we're gonna start with uh, some details on the chest. So control R. Little, little details here. See how close, close. Sorry, of this edge. I added the next edge loop that's because I will go ahead and select this just that edge the front edge and the y-axis I will pull it down just like that as you can see here in the image on the right there's like a little division obviously between the two windows that conform the chest of prime now what else I want to select these four edges here 
that I will um, press I that will create an inset and I will go ahead and do it just like this so and um, we are now modeling this part and with the face selection I will select this and I will create another material which is going to be let's say a little dark blue just like that and I will call it glass and remember for a glass material we will select as you may imagine glass right however I want some roughness here so the inner part of the prime won't be shown that much besides oh, and go ahead and click on the sign don't forget that please um, as you can see the glasses on the chest are like pushed inside so all we need to do is select here uh, actually wait E to extrude and make the push just like that there's a camera view you press 0 so if you want to see the push that I was just talking about click on um, press tab now select the camera remember um, the selected object is um, in orange color okay press R twice you will rotate in the normals so I can see it in now G grab it up a little bit more just like that so I can see let's say a little bit from the top this is just just the very first part for the chest F12 and there it goes rendering beautifully right now why do you think that the blue material we assigned to the glass is shown as a black material here that is because of the light nothing more but the light okay um, later when we add a couple of um, extra lamps so we can get rid of this very very ugly um, black shadow here and also we will be able to see the interior of the prime we will not model remember that we will not model like um, any of the interior like you know chairs or or, or, or um, the engine uh, inside of the prime that would be too much okay that would be like a very 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 long um, video so forget about it but um, we will try to uh, make some more uh, reflection on this we might add some objects in the back of the camera meaning by here um, so we can like um, see a better reflection a real reflection actually now something else here I will go ahead and S Y because the chest is obviously bigger than we had here. And besides, no, leave it there just by now. So this is the third um, of this series of videos, and I hope I will see you again on the next week. Until then, oh, I will go ahead and save it. Control Shift S. I will press on the plus sign on the keyboard, numeric keyboard, like that. Save as a Blender file, and that's it. I will see you again next week. I hope. Until then, may free and open software have a long, long, long life.